Believe it or not, in the suitcase you see right now, I have a whole mini drum kit packed in there. I have a couple snare drums, a full hi-hat stand, even a drum throne, and some cymbals in there as well. This is a suitcase drum kit. Um, it's super portable. These are super fun to use for like cafe gigs, maybe busking outside, or just take to your house and like jam in your room or something. It's a lot of fun. I was able to put this together pretty cheap. I just bought a suitcase from the second hand store. Um, the only other thing I had to buy were the little uh, floor tom leg bracket mounts you see on the front there. But the rest was put together with just drum hardware I already had. All right, so the main ingredient for a suitcase drum kit is a suitcase. I picked this one up at my local secondhand store for like $3. And all you have to do to kind of prep it to get ready for your kit is open it up and take out all the lining inside. So I've done that one here. You can see it looks kind of messy and nasty, um, but that's what it looks like when you take out all the lining. And uh, it'll just help everything fit in way easier when you do that. So. The first step I'm gonna do here is um, mount my floor tom legs and I'm gonna use these two brackets. They're just regular floor tom brackets by Gibraltar. You can buy them at your local music store for like around $15 each. And those are gonna be the support legs for the front of the suitcase. So when you're hitting the pedal on the, the back, it's not gonna fall forward because these things are gonna hold it up. So the markings for these don't have to be completely perfect. Um, just because you can adjust the height with these things this way. So you just want to make sure that they're straight like this way. I'm just going to make a little mark. Yeah, I'm going to keep these little um, wing nuts or whatever you want to call them towards the outside so that I'm not you know, putting my fingers against this thing. So I just used a regular drill for this, chose the drill bit out first and measured it with the screws here. And yeah, it's just a regular drill, you can use any kind. All right, so um, once you got that going, take the screws off the back, try to fit it in the holes. If they're a little bit too small, you can just go over them again to try widen them. Gonna screw it in from the bottom. All right, so now I have my brackets put on. I'm gonna put the floor tom legs on, and then I'm gonna mount the bass drum pedal mount. This I actually just took off of like one of those uh, cheap bass drum risers you can buy, and it's just the bottom part. So you can purchase that at a music store, or if you don't have that, you can get creative with some metal, maybe a piece of flashing or something, and create your own. But I had this laying around, so I decided to use it. All right, so just like the floor tom legs, I'm gonna have to drill some holes and uh, mark where this is gonna go in the back. Again, just bolting it from the inside. So now we can mount our bass drum pedal on here and be able to play some Wicked Beats. So, um, as you also notice, I've chosen a, it's like one of the cat electronic kit. Um, it's like a tennis ball beater. It's like a much more soft, so it's not so like, it doesn't sound like you're knocking on a door. It sounds a little more like a bass drum, so. The bass drum's ready to go, but I'm gonna also mount one cool, fun little stack right here. And I'm just gonna drill one more hole in there, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm actually gonna mount it with like an old hi-hat clutch. And it's gonna go from inside the suitcase, hold on, and then the stack's gonna go on top, and you can just screw it on. You can put anything you like with, on with this thing. Uh, it'll be right about here. Now I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the stack symbols. 
So I've got a couple of little stacks here that I really like. I'm using a Sabian AAX Air Splash and then a Sabian Mini Holy China. And they're stacked together like this. And I'm gonna put them on there just like that. But I'm gonna put a felt on the bottom and one on the top. So now, it's kind of like I have a mix, a little hi-hat or a stack symbol on the side of my bass drum. So, the hard part is over. We just drilled a bunch of holes in this thing, got it set up to be a bass drum, got some support on the front, got the pedal mounted, and even a little stack symbol on the front. The next part here is getting all the hardware together to complete your whole suitcase drum kit. So I do have some hardware here already. This is stuff I already had laying around. It's nothing crazy and nothing super fancy. Um, but one thing I recommend doing is when you get all this hardware together, make sure it can fit in your suitcase first. So kind of choose it out and then uh, fit it all in. See if your hi-hat stand can fit, see if your throne can fit, and then um, take it all out and put it together. So you might have to you know, do that a couple times because you probably will add little, you know, too many things in there. So just do that a couple times. I'm gonna start with the drum throne. Um, when I put this together, I made sure it fit in the suitcase first. But I'm actually gonna use it to hold on to my snare drum. I picked out a little 12 inch snare that actually has a side clamp. And that was so I didn't have to use a snare drum stand. So here's what I'm gonna use for the snare drum clamp. It's just like a cymbal arm uh, made by Pearl. And it's gonna clamp onto the bottom of the throne here. And for the snare drum, I'm using this one. It's a little 12 inch sonar snare. And as you can see, it has this little mount right here, which I can use for that cymbal arm clamp. All right, so I'm gonna mount my cymbal arm right onto the base of the throne right here. Um, if you're scared it's gonna damage your throne, um, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. Maybe mount it down here or something like that. Um, but I think it's pretty safe to do that. If you do do that, uh, make sure you get the height of your throne first, because you're not really gonna be able to adjust it once you put that on. And I also recommend putting the foot forward to give you some more support when the, the snare drum's on here. Otherwise, it'll fall forward on you, so. All right, and I put the snare drum on, and I actually like playing traditional grip, so I don't mind if the snare drum is tilted a little bit forward. Um, I actually prefer that myself. Perfect, so that's the snare drum. Obviously, if you can fit um, a snare drum stand in your suitcase, you don't need to go this route, but um, yeah, I recommend trying it out because it might save you a lot of space in your suitcase, so. All right, I'm gonna get the hi-hat together now. So I do recommend when you use a hi-hat stand that you use one of the folding ones because it'll take up a lot less space in your suitcase. And when you do take it apart, make sure you take that apart as well because it'll you know, give you more room. Perfect. So next, I'm gonna mount my, I have like a little micro snare. It's a 12, uh, six inch LP micro snare. And that's gonna sit just above my snare drum here and act just like another tom or an extra snare drum. Just a little more things to hit. So in order to mount this snare drum, I'm actually using its uh, tom arm and I'm gonna hook it right onto the stand here and then I'll move it close enough so that it sticks out. So once you got it on there, make sure you get to the height that you like and you might adjust it as you get everything together. You might lower the heights or whatever. All right, so next I'm gonna mount my crash cymbal right here and I have one more external cymbal arm clamp, which I'm just gonna clamp to the hi-hat stand as well. So for cymbal choice here, I have some actually splash cymbals. I'm gonna use those as my hi-hat cymbals. They're nice and small, um, just because everything's so close together here, uh, it just kind of fit, I thought fit well. And they sound cool together. And I just have a 17 inch crash, which is gonna act as a crash slash ride symbol. So final step is just move your suitcase and you are ready to play on your kit. All right guys, so that was pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, let's get this thing mic'd up and uh, see how it sounds.
For a tiny kit that fits into a suitcase, this is a pretty killer option. It was, you know, super easy to make, very cheap, tons of fun, and I was able to mostly use things I already had. So, yeah, I hope you guys have fun with that. Try on your own, try experiment with some different hardware options. Suitcase sizes, I do recommend like the more firm suitcase though, it's gonna give you a better sound. You know, with the setup I have here, like what do you guys think I'm missing? Would you add something different? Uh, or maybe when you make your own, what would you guys add that you feel I'm, I'm missing here? Hit us up in the comments, we'll catch you guys later.